If you've ever been to the ENT clinic for anything relating to your nose or throat, there's a good chance you've experienced flexible endoscopy to examine those areas. This scope exam is one of the ways ENT doctors can better evaluate certain problems within the nose and throat compared to other doctors. Flexible scopes allow us to inspect the nasal airways and identify inflammation, infection, nasal polyps, and less common problems such as tumors and nasal foreign bodies. We can also inspect the throat for signs of reflux irritation, which is common in those with difficulty breathing at night. If desired, the nose can be prepared with a nasal spray, including decongestants and topical numbing medication to make the scope exam easier. The scope is gently placed inside each nostril and advanced into and around the nasal cavities to view the septum, turbinates, spaces the sinuses drain, areas that tend to form polyps such as the olfactory cleft and space adjacent to the middle turbinate, and the back of the nose or nasopharynx which contains the adenoids and the openings of the eustachian tubes that equalize pressure in the ears. The scope can be passed further behind the soft palate to view the throat, where the base of tongue, tonsil areas, larynx, and lower portion of the throat involved in swallowing can be inspected. The movement of the vocal cords can also be assessed and any swelling, lesions, or abnormalities can be identified. In my nasal endoscopy exam, you can see a prominence of the bone at the base of the septum on the right side, as well as a larger bone spur at the back of the septum on the left side. My turbinates have been decongested and do not appear hypertrophy during the exam. There's a mild degree of allergy-related swelling and excess mucus over the turbinates, but no nasal polyps or signs of infection. In my throat, you can see normal symmetric movement of the vocal cords and no visible signs of swelling or irritation at the back of the larynx that would suggest reflux problems. While not necessarily pleasant, the scope exam is generally tolerable if you have sufficient room in the nose. In cases where the nose is extremely congested or the septum is severely deviated or polyps obstruct the nasal airways, the scope exam may not be possible and a CT scan is a suitable alternative. These scope findings can help diagnose the cause of your nose and throat symptoms and guide the best treatment options so that you get the most out of your ENT evaluation. Thanks for watching, and if you would like to see me as a patient in Houston or the Woodlands, Texas, visit premiersinus.com or call my Houston surgeons at 713-791-0700. Thanks for watching.